who they chat with and stuff. And he says, oh, by the way, can you use your radio to get a message to Margaret Bradley moving her car? So the trailer crew worker gets on, this, on the radio, calls the SAR shift coordinator. So the search and rescue coordinator that day, here's Margaret Bradley's name. Okay, what's going on? Oh, she needs her car moved. Anything else? Any problem? They need anything else? No. So, uh, yet another chance goes by. He hikes out, he gets the rim, and then he gets sick. They go, they go to the car, he throws up on this U.S. geologic worker's car. Besides, I can't move Margaret's car, let's forget it. So he contacts Parks of his dispatch, which has changed hands, and says, get a message to Margaret Bradley about moving her car after all. She can get it herself. And they go to Wendy's, he gets a shake, and, a, and he throws that up too. <laughs> and they go to Flagstaff, she drops him off, says, what about your friend Margaret? You know, I'll, I'll take care of that. But he passes out on his floor. And uh, anyway, um, it's not until the next morning that the Park Service and the uh, county uh, sheriff and all that knock on his door and say, I'm looking for Margaret. And anyway, to make a long story short, um, I guess it's pretty long already, uh, Margaret, unfortunately, was alive probably about 10 to 18 hours after uh, Brian had reached the Kaiba Trail and had access to, you know, to the Park Service and the emergency response system. But she died right here. This is a 130-foot cliff. If there's a series of three cliffs in cremation, just like Bryce Gillis, she got cliffed out. 530 feet fall and about a little over 600 feet. And her legacy, unfortunately, you guys may have seen this at the trailheads, is could you run a Boston Marathon? You know, Margaret died you know, because of being misled by her guide. She trusted in this guy. She did her own homework. So here's some of the lessons from Heath that are in the book. You know, obviously avoid the hottest times of the day and year. Always bring plenty of water. Know your route and bring a map. GPSs, they can break. Um, you know, we, a map is, is really, really important. Know where to find emergency water. Hike from water, not to water. That's from Harvey Butchart. What that means is I bring my water, anticipating it will get me to this point. If I go to this point thinking I'm going to get water there, and if it's not, I might be in trouble. So you really have a plan to have enough water next to you just to get you to point B. Um, always inform someone of your plans. Scrutinize advice from guides. Maybe it isn't a good idea to go 15 miles in July, <laughs> and one's actually 30, in Grand Canyon. Bring an emergency signaling device. Margaret was thought, they thought that she might have been trying to flash uh, at night with her camera in the dark, laying her dying heat stroke, her last effort. Um, worst case scenario, consider hunkering down and wait out the heat. Ryan hunkered down and survived. Um, 20 years earlier, uh, a guy named Stryker, he died going down from Asian trying to get water for his wife. She hunkered down and later made it out and survived. Worst case scenario, it may be better just to hunker down and wait out the heat rather than push and push until you die from heat stroke. Moving on. <laughs> Time to cool off. The unnatural born killer, the Colorado. Who wants to go on a river trip? <laughs> Who's been on a river trip? If you can still go on another river trip if you've been, okay, most of us. <laughs> we'll see how you feel in a minute. <laughs> All right, so who wants to go for the big ride? Yeah. Yeah. Who in their right mind would want to go into that? <laughs> Are they going into that? No, there's the wall over there. They won't buy it. What rapid is that, by the way? Crystal. Crystal, right? So they, they made the run. They're going to cut by it. But we're going to go for the big ride now. No, the land in Canada is a fairy tale. Every night my dreams go back down the Grand Canyon Trail. The moon is there on high, sitting pretty in the sky, and a man can get a start out by the place. And if I bide my time, 
There's a chance in the time that I'm gonna meet someone who'll listen to my name and will share the dream that's riding down the Grand Canyon Trail. A little trivia here. This is a, a little post-flip um, bravado moment. That's uh, it, this is all hot, one of those classic Hollywood trips that you might have heard about. This is Don Simpson who uh, made Flashdance and a bunch of other movies, including Top Gun with that guy. Uh, this is Jeff Katzenberg who started DreamWorks Studios. So these guys are, he's dead of an overdose, but he's riding high. And Tom, you hear about the news. Anyway, uh, the quick short tidbit here is, uh, this is Annie Anderson who was a guide on that trip, and Pablo trip, and uh, Tom took off his hat at the top of lava to his lucky New York Yankees hat so it wouldn't get lost, and she told him it's bad luck taking the hat off. So he slammed it back on, they flipped, he lost it. And um, they all emerged and, and got gathered up and everything, but he had a booger about four miles long, and, were, and none of these other Hollywood people would tell him. <laughs> I we have a little footage here, and the purpose of this footage is, uh, this is all in Hermit Rapid. And that's not necessarily the, the, the good demonstration, but it's a demonstration of luck. But you'll see that, um, for those of you who have done some boating, you'll see that every single boat that comes through here has a different concept, a different idea, and a different result. And the, the, point, of, <laughs> the point of showing this is that um, the river is not like a big toilet you flush down and that's your only option is to go down the drain. There are, there are many other uh, opportunities for deciding your destiny. Most of these guys kind of uh, tried to cheat to the left, uh, left side of the rapid. Some of them did it mildly, some of them did it really aggressively, and some of them failed to do it at all. But there's some spectacular footage at the end. By the way, the rapid, this is a 1990, what, 6, 95? Rapid changed in the last couple of years and uh, no longer the number five wave that's today, probably it's uh, approximately number 10, 11, depending on this county. Much nastier than anything else. For the ability to run down the middle safely, Best ride between Wyoming and Mexico was severely impacted by the wave number 10. One of, the, one of the aspects of uh, danger in Grand Canyon is. the aspects of this happens to be a private trip, but one of the little tidbits is that there's only two modes of transport within Grand Canyon that have a clean record with regard to the calories. This guy did a perfect cheap run. Not going in there, no way. And uh, commercially road or boat has had no fatalities since one metal started the business of running passengers for hire back in 37, 1938. The mules have not lost the dude at the time either. Everything else, every other way, hiking, running, flying, paddle boating, motor boating, all that. That's it's actually not as fun as it looks. This guy's taking a severe beat. Oh! So believe it or not, yeah. I'm going to up in the back of 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 the